If a nuclear core is so dangerous, how are they put fitted into a reactor? A nuclear core isn't dangerous until it is operating. Most of a nuclear power plant, and even the reactor core, is not made of radioactive material. Further, even fresh nuclear fuel isn't super radioactive. It makes radiation by artificial nuclear reactions in the reactor. Before that, you can hold fuel pellets with thin gloves. And here's a big frisbee of uranium. Notice that the gloves are not 10 inches thick. In fact, they're about the same as kitchen gloves. The radiation emitted from newly made fuel has very little penetration. A little bit of plastic or a few inches of air will stop the radiation. Hence, workers can easily deal with fresh, unused fuel assemblies without special shielding. That innocuous state changes when the fuel has been in an operating reactor. All those split uranium atoms turn into nastier radioactive material. Fortunately, nuclear power plants are designed to deal with that. This picture shows a typical approach. When the reactor is opened up to change out its old fuel, it is covered in water. The water is radiation shielding. Boxy fuel assemblies containing lots of those pellets get pulled out by machines. And when they're done changing the fuel, they put the lid back on the reactor so it can go back to safely boiling water for steam turbines. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more interesting contents. Thank you.